Hey there, sexy. It's Ina Dian Sanchez and welcome back to my channel. How are you doing? I hope you're doing absolutely amazing. Today is the end of 2023. I don't know when you're going to see this, but today's the end of the year. I look a bit rough. I look a bit like shit. I'm not having the best start of my morning, but I'm not going to let bullshit just ruin me. I won't let it happen. And you shouldn't let it either. My cousin is trying to cheer me up, so we're going to get poke. I've never tried this place that we're going to go to, so just kind of hoping for the best but i'm just very excited it's actually very very hot it's been it's been very cold the last couple of weeks but today we're in 24 degrees so we're gonna end the year with like a really hot day i'm just very excited for today i'm very excited for the things that 2024 have in store for me and here we are xoxo xoxo XO. gossip girl okay so we've decided to go for pokey we're in the pokey station how do you feel? First time having pokey? We have to try it. We first. have to try it. We're gonna give a review. I'm so tired. I hope this like wakes me up. It's a lot of food. I'm super excited. I'm starving. I'm just hoping for the best. Right, so we've already eaten. He actually loved the pokey ball. He actually finished the ball before I did. I didn't even get to finish it. My stomach is acting up. Might be the baby. Now we've literally been going through every shop in the world trying to find a cable or something that would allow my Rode Video Micro, the microphone that I have for my old camera, so that I can use it on this phone so that I know that the video quality and stuff is good, but I want the audio to be as crisp as possible. And it was kind of a fail. Honestly, two hours or three hours and we've been walking around, hence why I'm sweating like a biatch. We've been walking around like crazy and we know I hate walking and it was all for nothing, apparently. Big fail, but it's okay. It's all right, life goes on. <laughs> Trying to stay positive. Okay, so it's been a really, really long day. I've just decided to sit down here and do a little bit of makeup and get chatting to you about what's going on, what's happening, fill you in in my life a little bit and just start the new year positive, together, with a different mindset and yeah. Well, I'm gonna get ready a little bit. I'm not gonna go crazy, but I do wanna get a little bit ready for tonight. I'm not in the best mood, but I'm going to be. So I woke up today to a call from my boss firing me. I have currently no job. Granted, I hated the job anyway. I hated the way I was being treated. My manager was absolutely horrible to me. I was not happy and I think everybody could see that. I didn't like the job, but obviously I wanted the money and I had plans and I had all these things in my head that I wanted to do. And obviously I think it's just been a very difficult year with moving house like three times in one year and then you know, being kicked out of like one of my old best friend's houses, like, you know, that happened like a month ago. And then obviously being with no money and having to pay all my things. And it's been a very, very difficult month of December this year. And obviously now to top it off, I've just lost my job. It's gonna hydrate my eyes a little bit. It's just been a difficult morning, to be honest. I did cry for a good two hours, maybe three hours. <laughs> Then I got talking to my friend Karina and I was like, maybe I am manifesting all of these things, you know? I'm such a Debbie Downer. I'm such a complainer. I'm such a moaner. I'm such a negative person. I feel like I manifested this in the sense that I complain about everything. I was like, I hate this job. I don't like it. I hate my manager. I hate the way she's speaking to me. I don't want to see her ever again. I barely sleep. I am tired all the time. I can barely even make content for social media. I'm making the worst content I've ever made. I'm like, oh, I feel so sad. I feel so bad about this. I, this job is consuming me. And then the universe listens to me and takes the job away. And now I'm complaining, oh my God, and they took the job and oh my God, I don't have a job anymore. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, maybe this is like a chance to really focus on social media and really focus on what I want to do and maybe change my path, change my career, find what makes me happy, do things for me. You know, I always complain that I don't want to do waitering. I don't want to work for people who are assholes. So why do I continue choosing the easy job that is just full of assholes? <laughs> Honestly, it's just been very weird thought that came to my mind but talking to Karina and she was telling me listen you're so negative you only attracted negative things if you switch your mind if I told you right now that everything you said for the next 24 hours was gonna become like real was gonna happen was like everything you said everything that came out of your mouth every every single thought you had was gonna become a reality would you not be careful with what you're thinking or what you're saying or what you're wishing? And instead of being negative, would you not try and be positive? Because you know it was, it's gonna happen. What if I said that about the next 10 days? What if I said that about the next month? What if I said that about the next six months? And it made me think and I was like, oh yeah, whatever. Like, you know, I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna be Delulu 
for the day. You know, it's fine. You know, it will get me out of bed. And then my cousin messaged me and he was like, oh, come on, let's go get a Pokeball. It will cheer you up, whatever. So we went there and I still looked like this. Like I was still like floppy. <laughs> Um, which by the way, my brows look amazing and my skin is doing really well. So not floppy at all, may I say. And then we were talking about the mic. I'm having issues with editing with the microphone that it's on the phone. I am filming on my iPhone 15 Pro Max and the sound is not as crisp as it used to be on my Sony camera because I do have a professional microphone that I bought. So I was trying to find a way to use that microphone on this phone because I spent money on it and I just, I don't just want to bin it or leave it to the side. We were looking and looking and searching and searching. We went to like three or four different stores and we couldn't find it. And then suddenly I was like, it's okay. Cause I was gonna say, oh my God, I'm never gonna get a microphone. I'm never, it's never gonna work. And I could see the thoughts coming in my head and I was like, it's okay. You know what? It's gonna come to me. It's gonna happen to me. It will just happen. Like the solution will come to me. The microphone will find a way to like work on the phone. I know it will. And my cousin was like, what the fuck's wrong with you? What did you, did that Pokeball have like drugs in it or something? Can you believe that we came home? We were chilling, we were still trying different things. It didn't work. I had searched everything, every way possible. And suddenly, open my MacBook, open the YouTube tab. How to fix the issue with connecting a Rode microphone to iPhone 15. It happened. I'm being the Lulu for the rest of the year. I'm telling you right now. 30 seconds. Hola. Hey. Hey. So we're at the house. I didn't really vlog much. I don't know what I managed to vlog. I was on uh, FaceTime with my boyfriend so we, that we could celebrate the new year together. And we do the 12 grapes. Obviously he doesn't do the Spanish tradition. So he had 12 Smarties with us and it was lovely. It was so nice to feel like he was here and my parents and everybody was like, oh my God, we're so happy that he's doing this with us. Yeah, you know, it was just cute to be with each other. I'll show you my outfit properly in a minute if I haven't shown it yet. And now we've come to town because my sister wants to see her friends and obviously she's still underage. So me and my mom came and joined. I am not excited about this at one bit. I want to go to bed, <laughs> but you know, it's fine. We're going to see what's going on over here and we're going to try and have a decent hour or two and then we will go home and I can actually do my skincare and go to bed. It's been an eventful night, I actually feel super good. The only thing I feel sad about is Luna and Petete, my cat and the dog, they were both very, very worried and shaky and I left like my um, hot pad that I put for my back, I uh, left it on and he was cuddling to it and under the pillows, so you know, that he feels a bit safe. I closed the doors, closed the windows. My windows are um, soundless, I don't know how you say that, like soundproof. So um, he shouldn't hear much. And Luna was just shaking and, and scared. So, you know, that's been a bit of the night. But um, nonetheless, we're going to try and make it a good one and a good start of the year. My mom is talking about like waking up early and going to the mountains. I think, fuck it. Why not? You know, let's do something fun. <laughs> Good morning, happy new year. I'm gonna treat myself. I feel really tired and really puffy, so I'm gonna put like a nice mask that I have on my skincare fridge right here. Some thermal water first. The roller. Ooh, this feels so good and so like cooling on my face. My gua sha just broke the other day, so I need to get a new one.
Am I so dumb that I've just put it on the wrong way? Just realized. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't have a viewfinder, you guys. Right, now I will lay down for 20 minutes. Okay, time is up. Mm, it actually feels so good and so relaxing. I could sleep with this on, but they do say no more than 20 minutes. It's actually very, very early still. We just got back. Um, my mom woke me up at seven, which means that I've slept for like two hours. <laughs> um, yeah, she woke me up at seven because we have this tradition that we... That every New Year's Day we go and watch the sunrise together. So she woke me up at seven. We went to like a beach that we really like with Luna and we were there. We got our feet in the water. It was very, very nice. We cleansed our souls for the year. And I was saying a lot of affirmations. I don't know if she was, but I was saying a lot of affirmations by myself with my feet in the water, getting cleansed. And I'm super tired. So I know today's gonna be a chill day and I'm gonna be relaxing and just being present. And by all means, I will probably have an early night tonight. I'm gonna go in quickly with my Good Morning Glow with Hyaluronic Acid and Centella Asiatica Extract. That mask made my face feel amazing. As per usual, I'm gonna use the Eye Repair Cream by CeraVe. And as always, I'm gonna be using a little bit of the Cora Lip Sculpture Balm for my lips. My favorite hand cream at the moment is this one by The Body Shop and it's in the scent British Rose. I will also add now some cuticle oil. One more spritz of thermal water. And now I'm gonna make sure I take my hormones, my antidepressants and my vitamins. And this is how I ended last year and how I'm starting my new year. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. A bit of a random one in my channel, but I really hope you liked it. I'm, as you can tell, I'm in a different vibe, different energy. I feel like I've elevated. I feel like, you know, I feel like I've leveled up in the last couple of days and I'm super ready to continue this journey and continue this experience. I really want to do a manifestation board. I've never done one before and I think I want to do one like physically. So let me know if that's something you want to see and I can do that for you in the next video. And you know, I can encourage you to do one also. But yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed. I cannot say it enough, happy new year. This is the year for us. And honestly, this can be the year for you if you want it to. You have the power, believe it, you do, you have it. Doesn't matter, you cannot change the world. That's not what I'm saying. You can change how you react to what the world and what life throws at you. So I hope you have the best year ever. It's never too late to start having a good year. So whenever this video comes across you, just know, let's make it the best day ever and the best day ever tomorrow and the one after. I love you. And don't forget most importantly to stay sexy. Give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm reading all of your comments and all my social media links will be listed down below on my link tree, okay? Bye guys, stay sexy, I love you.